All right, how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's doing fantastic. You know, we're just out here preaching to the uh, creatures again. If you can hear the birds and things in the background, let's let it, let's let them let's just let them sing for a second. I know you can hear them, so that's we're we're just preaching to God's creatures every single day. And you're a creature of God. Don't forget that we are all creatures of God. Okay, we're going to be talking about evangelizing because I believe that, you know, a lot of people a lot of people don't have that courage, that strength that when the Holy Spirit grabs a hold of you and says, "I need you to do something," you know, they 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 don't jump out because they got they got the enemy right right there in their ear saying not to do it. So, what we need to remember is we got to stand up. And I'm going to I'm going to try to do my best to explain what to do. You know, I, I can't help you at all. The Lord has sent the Holy Spirit. It's raining down. The Holy Spirit is raining down. This is a beautiful time. This is the this is a gracious and a wonderful time. You got to understand this. This is the age of all ages. Okay, this is the end of this age. We are at the end of this age. The Lord is coming back so soon. So we need to we need to look for our brothers and sisters, and let the Holy Spirit lead us. Pray for that. Pray for the, let the Holy Spirit lead us. But I'm gonna pray real quick, and then we're gonna get going. Father in heaven, I just want to thank you for this day. I want to thank you for everything that you do for me, Lord. I want to thank you for. My wife, I want to thank you for these people that, that watch this. I want to pray that you speak through me clearly today, Lord. I want to pray that you speak through me clearly so that way people can understand what they need to understand. And take over me, Lord Jesus, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit, I pray that. And I pray that these people receive what they need to receive for a clear message, Lord Jesus. That way they can be lifted up and so in the kingdom. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right. How's everyone doing today? Okay. You know, I... I don't know if y'all remember those bracelets that, like, they had WWJD on them. They said, what would Jesus do? You know, that's, like, that's what this message is kind of about a little bit. What would Jesus do? You know, because, like, we gotta, we gotta walk like we are Jesus. You know, that, that's our ultimate goal, right? As Christians, and to, to sow for the kingdom, that's our ultimate goal, to walk as we are Jesus. Okay, we gotta model Jesus. That is key. Modeling Jesus is key. Okay, what did Jesus have? He had love. He had gentleness. He has patience. He has forgiveness. Okay, you know, and a lot of a lot of pastors don't like to talk about Jesus's wrath, but you know, there, there's a wrath coming. Okay, and we gotta be we gotta be real. We gotta realize, you know, Jesus is all those things when he walked this earth. That's how he tried to bring people to the kingdom to understand how their holiness, to understand their righteousness. He did things for people. We gotta remember though that the wrath is gonna come. The wrath is gonna come, and we need to make sure we're ready and sewed up. We're gonna reap what we sow, you know. If we don't do what we what we need to do right now and get ready, what, what we need to do right now and listen to the Holy Spirit right now, the Father in heaven, we will sit in front of that. We will sit in front of Him one day. Okay, I'm gonna uh, read this in John 13, 34, 35. If you want to follow along with me, please get out your Bibles. Jesus is speaking here. He said, "A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you. That you also." Love one another. By this, all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Okay, and then Romans twelve thirteen says, distributing to the needs of the saints, given to the hospitality. We got to remember, you know, what can we do for people? What can we do for people? Jesus did a lot of things for people. Okay, we can do things right now in our hometowns, anywhere we're at. You know, what can we do for people? Can we help somebody out? Can we give somebody? If somebody needs something, can we just give it to them? And you know, tell tell them it's from the Lord. You know, because if you feel the Holy Spirit leading you, then you know it's from the Lord. So do it. If the Holy Spirit leads you to give, if the Holy Spirit leads you to take somebody in for a day, if the Holy Spirit leads you to take somebody out to eat, just to minister to somebody, then do what you need to do. You know, Jesus did things for people. Buy people dinner. You know, sow for the kingdom. You know, y'all, if you if y'all want to pray this, y'all should pray this. This is really good. Pray this prayer. Jesus, quicken my heart. Well, Father in heaven, quicken my heart when I am not modeling godly behavior and help me start sharing your love with others by making sure my actions align with the way you want me to behave. Read this with me or say this with me. Father in heaven, quicken my heart when I am not modeling godly behavior and help me start sharing your love with others by making sure my actions align with the way you want me to behave. In Jesus' name we pray this. You know, pray for that. Pray to get your heart quickened. You know... I got a lot, I feel a lot of peace and a lot of love from the Lord. But I also, I also feel things that are coming. I sense things that are coming. There's a day coming of, of wrath from the Lord. There's a day of wrath coming for people that don't get right. And it's our duty, you know. A lot of people are like, Lord, where are you, Lord? 
come down here and do something. But you know, God created you and he created me and he created all of us for a reason, okay? He created us so that way we could step out and do something, okay? He put the Holy Spirit inside of us so that way we could do something. Okay, so stand up. If the Holy Spirit's leading you, do something. You know, we, the Bible says we always got to be ready to share our hope. And you know what? There's probably chances and opportunities that the Lord puts you in and you don't take the opportunity to do it. Take the opportunity, okay? This is a, this is a big army. This is a big army here. And the Lord has built this army. And I see more people on fire. I see more people on fire for that are younger nowadays. That, and people have been in Christ for years. And, and they're not they're not really stepping up. And I see I say tw- I see 20 to 23 year olds, 24, 25, 26 year olds that are more on fire for Christ than anyone are at the older age. How you doing, sir? You can come on through. Good to see you today. And that was Paul. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know who that guy is. But it's a bike trail, so we might see somebody else on a bike. Anyways, we're going to go to 1 Peter 3.15, and it says, But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. We have to fear the Lord. And a lot of people are like, man, you know, some of your messages come off scary. You know, some of your messages come off scary. Well, you know what? I don't fear nobody, nobody except for the Lord. Okay? He's on my side, and I don't fear nobody but Him. Okay, another prayer for you. This is this is about praying today. We need to make these prayers to the Lord Jesus, and He will help us. Let's pray this. Lord, help me to always proclaim that your truth with boldness and gentleness. Pray for the Holy Spirit to teach you in Jesus' name. You know, so many people get offended. So many people get offended. You know, they probably get offended by my, my, my videos. I'm a Muslim or I'm an atheist. You know, I'm offended. We well, you know what offends me? People that get offended. Okay, that offends me. All right, because you know we have a reason. We have a right to speak too. We got a right to do things too. Okay, you know. So if you want to get offended, then get offended. But you're gonna be you're <laughs> you're gonna be in a place and be very offended, and you're gonna get this whole book read to you. So let's get right now. Let's let's do things now. Let's do things for Christ now. Let's bring our brothers to Christ now. Let's just show them the truth. The Holy Spirit will will help them if you bring them the word. Let's see here. You know, one thing we got to know, we got to know the scripture. You know what helps to know our hope when we get in the Bible, when we get in the sword. You know, a lot of people are like, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. But I fear because I believe the Lord, you know, actually the Lord spoke to me the other day and the Lord said, man... I can't believe how many people Satan has tricked. Can't believe how many Satan pe- people have Satan tricked. But you know what? It was in the Bible. It's a, it's a prophecy in uh, 2 Timothy, I believe, that you know a lot of people are going to be tricked. But you know what? God made me. He made you. So step up and bring somebody to Christ. You know, if every if every Christian brought one person to Christ, and then they brought one person to Christ, then everybody would be in Christ. And this would be a lot better place. But you know what? We have war. And, because the people are just like, man, why? They're sitting at home going, hmm. Where's God at? Well, you know what? Where God is, He created you, right? Why don't you go do something? Why don't you step up? You know, why don't you go do something for Jesus? Okay, 2 Timothy 2.15 says, Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly divided the word of truth. Pray for the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit to help you. Goodness gracious. Okay, one thing that the, world, well, the Lord spoke to me again the other day, and He speaks very clearly and direct. Like, okay... What, like, if you ever pray to the Lord and you want to know, like, something, that he's going to speak very clearly and direct to you, okay? You know, when I was praying to ask him a question, like, he's always on point. He's, like, personality. He's, like, two words, three words. He's always, like, boom, right, direct. Like, very, very on point, okay? You got to understand, he, he, I was, like, how can I reach people? Personalities. Find out their personalities. Find out what they like. You know, get creative, okay? And I see people in Christ that I'm, like, man... Lord, why, why are they like this? You know, and then he said to me, everyone has their place. You got to understand, it's the Lord works to me. Okay, sorry, we had to uh, come off and come back on there. But the Lord speaks to me, so you know, but he's, he speaks to all of you. He speaks to everyone. We just got to realize, to decipher what voice is coming from where, and what part is talking to us. You know, the Lord's very direct. Like, you got to think, demons when they're trying to speak to you they have no conscience and they're liars and they speak hypocrisy so um oh, there's no re- there's no asking questions to them because they'll just keep telling you lies keep telling you lies you know the lord will actually answer your question in a direct positive way so that's how you can know that the lord's speaking to you 
Then when Philip opened his mouth, oh, I'm sorry, I'm in Acts 8.35. Then when Philip opened his mouth and beginning at this scripture preached Jesus to him. He preached the gospel of Jesus' death, burial, resurrection, and the ascension of heaven. That's the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what we need to be preaching. Okay, he, he was on this earth. He died. He was buried. And he rose from the dead. <laughs> Once again, resurrection power. Amen, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father in heaven. Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Another prayer. Okay, another prayer. Can we please pray this? Let's pray this. Father in heaven. Show me the scripture you want me to know and share with others who are seeking a relationship with you. Feed them the word and let the Holy Spirit work in you. Feed them the word. Think of it like a... Okay, this is actually... This is like... I've been hearing this and I've been like talking to the Lord, working on this and you know... The Lord's been speaking to me and it's like... It's like... It's go time. It is go time. Okay? There's an army here of prophets. There's an army here of preachers. And I'm telling you right now... God's calling you. He's called me. He's called my wife. He's calling you. If you feel like he's calling you to do something, if you feel like one of these messages are talking to you, it's because it is talking to you. The Lord is trying to speak to you right now. Get up. Do something for Christ. Hey, how you doing? So the Lord's trying to speak to you right now. Let me, let me help you understand that. Okay. There's an army of prophets. There's an army of preachers here right now to this day. And it's biblical. It's backed up in the prophecy. Okay. What I'm trying to tell you is he wants you to step up. He wants you to step up right now. You know, basically, we need to think of it like a, a bomb. We need to think of it like a bomb, okay, that's about to go off, like, that, that, that's taken down. And the Lord is sending his elite bomb squad in right now. The Lord is sending his elite bomb squad in. The Lord's sending the elite bomb squad in, okay? That's what's going on. You know, the, the, the time is ticking. Tick tock, tick tock, tock. Well, there's 30 seconds left, basically, and we got to get out there and we got to do something for Jesus. We don't have a lot of time. Okay, it's 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 not a lot of time to him when he's coming back. The two days without him is almost up. You know, this is going to be one of the greatest things. This is one. This is this is so beautiful. This is this is going to be a great comeback. Okay, this is going to be a great comeback. You know, there are going to be some people that get left behind. You know, that's in the prophecy. But the thing is, is like, how many people can we bring to Christ? How, what can we do right now for Jesus? What can we do? John 142 says, and he brought him to Jesus. Now, when Jesus looked at him, he said, you are Simon, the son of, you know, this, this is good. This is good. We're getting to the good stuff. Everyone say the good stuff. Good stuff. All right. And he brought him to Jesus. Now, when Jesus looked at him and said, you are Simon, the son of Jonah, you shall be called Cephas, which was Peter. You know what? Jesus changed his name. Jesus said, you know, Peter was just a salty fisherman and, and Jesus changed his name. How you doing today? Fantastic. Good to see you out. All right. All right. So basically, you know, Pete, Pete, Jesus went to Peter and he said, Peter, I'm changing your name to Simon. Okay, I'm sorry, from Simon to Cephas and changed it to Peter. You know, Peter was just a salty fisherman, you know, that had no life but fishing ahead of him. But Jesus changed his life. Jesus gave him a different name. And Jesus has given you a different name if you want to accept it. If you want to take that rock with that different name on it, if you want to take that, then let Jesus bring it to you. You know, who does Jesus say you are? Ask yourself, Jesus, who do you say I am? Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Who do you say I am, Jesus? Peter's original name was Stinky Fisherman. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good, good. Peter's original name was Stinky Fisherman. Okay? And Jesus changed it. To Peter, Cephas, Apostle of God. Apostle of God. You know, question to ask yourself, what name will you take? Is Jesus calling you? What name will you take? Are you going to be the salty, stinky fisherman? Are you going to be an Apostle of God, of Jesus Christ? Somebody to stand up for the Lord. You know, that's what it's all about. What a beautiful thing to be called by the Lord Jesus. What a, what a beautiful thing to be called by the Lord Jesus. This, is, this world is nothing. It's going to burn. Things in it are going to burn. The Lord Jesus is going to bring you through it. You know, the, the, and I didn't write the Bible scripture down, but this is in the Bible. The Lord said to Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes. Now ask yourself, do you love the Lord? Are you saying you're a Christian? Do you love the Lord? If you say yes, Jesus, Jesus replied to Peter. He said, feed my sheep. 
feed my sheep. That means spread the gospel. Feed them spiritually. Give them the word. Bring them to Christ. Feed his sheep. He got up on the cross, and now he's waiting for you to feed his sheep. There is no fear in love, but perfect torment. I'm sorry. There is no fear in love, but perfect love. Cast out fear because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not made perfect in love. That's one thing that we got to remember. We got to understand. If you don't know, if you, if you, God's transforming you. Okay, don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged if you, if you're, if you can't, if you don't feel bold or courageous. Keep praying for that. Keep praying for it. The Lord will lead you. You know, I didn't, I didn't do this at the beginning. I wasn't like, I didn't come out of the womb going, Woo, Jesus, I'm a preacher. No, I had to build up to it. The Lord had to work on me. The Lord had to build me up. You know, let's just, let's realize that the Lord is trying to work on you. Okay, we gotta, we gotta evangelize. We are the church, the body of Christ. Jesus lives in us. You know, there's so many people that are disrespectful to the Lord. Goodness gracious, I see girls like on Facebook doing these crazy things. And guys too, not, not, not just ladies. Don't get upset with me. Okay, ladies, calm down. But the thing is, is like guys too, there's a lot of people that do things they shouldn't do. All right? We got to remember that if, the, if we don't have perfect love for the Lord, if we can't step out and tell somebody, that means the Lord's still working in us. So don't get discouraged. Just keep moving forward a little bit at a time. Tell one person, then it'll be two people. Then it'll be three people. Okay? Then Christ will be formed in you. All right? Just step up for the Lord Jesus. Man, it's hot today. I'm sweating. How, did it ding? What do we got going on? Seven minutes. Okay, here we go. Seven minutes. So I'm just, I'm going a, I'm to a close out with some things real quick. You know, we're soldiers, okay? The God is calling his elite team. God's calling the special forces. That's what a prophet is. That's what, a, like, a preacher, that's what somebody that brings the word every single day. That's what his special forces is. Special forces of, of God. You know, it's funny. It's like, we always point up. But, you know, the Bible says that God is everywhere. So, shouldn't we do something like this? <laughs> this is like a ribbon dancer. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know. I mean, we should just be pointing all over the place. But the thing is, is God, <laughs> we should be doing something. God, God's like amazing. This. Oh, that's what my wife says. We should do this. <laughs> Anyways, that's besides the point. You know, it's good to bring some laughter into things, but it's it's time to be elite. It's time to it's time to be real, you know. I we can have integrity, we can laugh, we can have fun, but when it's time to step up for the Holy Spirit, when it's time to step up for Jesus Christ, when it's time to step up for the Father in heaven, that we do our job. We put on our boots in the morning and we go do what we gotta do. Okay? This is a this is a beautiful journey that the Lord wants to take you on. Go get in it. Who names you? Okay? Who, what does Jesus say you are? Does the world name you? Is your, is your name Stinky Fisherman or is your name Apostle of God? That's what I want to know. Goodness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm going I'm to I'm end in prayer here. Father in heaven, I want to thank you. I pray that these people receive this, Lord Jesus, and that you you bring them the truth, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. And what, How are you doing? I pray that... Uh, that you continue this lord and you they receive this with clear mind lord jesus in jesus name i pray amen sorry i cut it off short we had somebody walk up us. that's okay though we love everyone but all right y'all till next time